Well, this is the first official comment from the Australian government about the fate of uh, asylum seekers who were intercepted on a boat near Cocos Islands. The Cocos Islands are an Australian territory in the Indian Ocean, about halfway between the Australian mainland and Sri Lanka. The Australians say that their refugee applications have been processed on the high seas. Most were Sinhalese who were transferred to the Sri Lankan authorities on Sunday. And uh, this raises uh, many questions in the eyes of critics. Uh, they wonder how uh, a credible and thorough system for assessing refugees applications can be carried out by video link uh, on the high seas but the Australian government says that uh, these asylum seekers are in safe hands and refugee campaigners clearly upset they say it's a violation of international law what other answers are they trying to get from the Australian government about previous asylum seekers from Sri Lanka well, I think the big question for critics of the government is uh, what has happened to a second boat? Uh, there were reports here in Australia in the last few days that two asylum seeker vessels have been intercepted. What we're hearing today is the Australian government confirming the existence of one vessel, but uh, very little is known about the other, and that apparently is carrying more than 150 possibly Tamil asylum seekers, and there have been concerns raised by refugee advocates here in Australia that in the past uh, Tamil asylum seekers who've been handed back to Sri Lankan authorities have been mistreated. So safe to say uh, immigration and, uh, and uh, asylum are very, very toxic and divisive issues here in Australia.